we've seen 1,227 deaths in the state of California with a possible uh, incidence or prevalence of 4.7 million. That means you have a 0.03 chance of dying from COVID-19 in the state of California. 0.03 chance of dying from COVID in the state of California. Is that, does that necessitate sheltering in place? Does that necessitate shutting down medical systems? Does that necessitate people being out of work? So whatever your view of the mass quarantines, and maybe you're enthusiastically for them, the questions you just heard are valid questions. In fact, they're critical questions. We should all be asking those questions, including and especially our policymakers. But as Dr. Erickson pointed out later in the video, dissent of any kind is no longer tolerated in this country. Fact-based honesty, which is the soul of science, is under attack, even in hospitals. Dr. Erickson described physicians being pressured to classify illnesses and deaths as related to coronavirus, whether they believe that to be true or not. We aren't pressured to test for flu, but ER doctors now, my friends that I talk to say, you know, it's interesting, when I'm, when I'm writing up my death report, I'm being pressured to add COVID. Why is that? Why are we being pressured to add COVID to maybe increase the numbers and make it look a little bit worse than it is? I think so. So what you just heard, what Dr. Erickson described, is called lying. And lying has no place in science ever. It's scary to think it takes place on a large scale in hospitals. He says it does. Viewers of Erickson's video were shocked and transfixed by this. They forwarded the video to friends who forwarded it on to their friends. And suddenly, millions of people who have spent the last six weeks on a diet of Tiger King and Internet memes were watching sober-minded medical researchers reading from charts of statistics. It's hard to recall a science video taking off like this one did. Unfortunately for all of us, informed debate is exactly what the authorities don't want. They want unquestioned obedience, so they're cracking down on free expression. Last night, the doctor's video, the one you just saw, was pulled off of YouTube, the largest video hosting site in the world. It wasn't an accident. YouTube admitted doing it. The company cited a violation of, quote, community guidelines, and they did not apologize. Looking back when all of this is finally over, and it will be, it's likely we'll see this moment, what YouTube just did, as a turning point in the way we live in this country, a sharp break with 250 years of law and custom. The Two Doctors video was produced by a local television channel in California. It was, in effect, a mainstream news story. The video was not pornographic. It didn't violate copyright or incite violence or commit libel. It didn't break any law. The only justification for taking it down was that the two physicians on screen had reached different conclusions from the people currently in charge. It was a form of dissent from orthodoxy. YouTube and its parent company, Google, have now officially banned dissent. The CEO of YouTube admitted that openly. Removing information that is problematic. Take vitamin C, um, you know, um, take turmeric, like those are all will cure you. Um, those are the examples of things that would be a violation of our policy. Um, removing information, anything that would go against World Health Organization recommendations would be a violation of our policy. And so remove is another really important part of our policy. Mm -hmm. Removing, quote, anything that would go against World Health Organization recommendations. It'll now be taken off the Internet. Consider that for a minute. As a matter just of science, it's ludicrous. Like everyone else involved in global pandemic policy, the WHO has often been wrong in its recommendations. A lot of people have. In mid-January, WHO told us that coronavirus could not spread from person to person. In March, they told us that face masks didn't work. Those were lies, and they were welcome on Google's platforms. Doctors who are actually treating patients with the virus, meanwhile, have just been banned. So no, this is not about science. Censorship never is about science. It's about power.